Marissa Farina, everyone. Give it up for Marissa. How's it going? Have you been to Playlist before? Yes, this is my third time. Third time, yep. so you're a veteran. Uh, am I? I feel like there's people who have been here third time many charm. more than that. <laughs> and so what's it been like? How has your channel and career evolved since being here three years ago? It has definitely grown because of Playlist. Oh, and really? the people that I've met and the opportunities that I've been given because of Playlist are just, it's amazing. And I can't even just begin to describe the people that I've met and how awesome they have been and helpful and the collaborations and everything. It's its so fun. Who have been your favorite people to collaborate with? Uh, well, I just got done collaborating with uh, Ariel Scarcella and Brian and Chrissy and Jelly and Day. We did a huge big one in Austin Wells. He's awesome. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when you collab with all those hot ladies mm -hmm. or big voices on the web they for are. The LGBT, like, yep. What's going on? What's that experience like? Is it like crazy fun behind the scenes? And then what do you decide to actually put out there for everyone? It is because it's a bunch of uh, different personalities all in one room. But I feel like we all have the, uh, you know, the same purpose and the same type of voice on YouTube. But we're just all different personalities. So it's so fun doing one big collab and seeing everyone doing their own thing, but like all coming together for it. It's it's really cool. And it's not like catty, like, get out of the show. Oh, no, not at all. We love each other. Every time we get to see each other, it's, it's oh, my God, how have you been? You just did a road trip. Yes. What was that like? It was awesome. I did it with my girlfriend. Aw. Aw, girlfriend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Does she shoot a lot? Or, you're, you're like, she's obviously in, in your videos and she's all that. She's in a few, yeah. But, I mean, or is it like, no, I don't want to be in too many. Do you have a separation? I do, I do. I, I, I mean, the channel is is, you know, about me and my life and my advice and whatnot, but she is a part of my life, so I do like to involve her in something. So she likes it. She, she gets a kick out of it because she didn't really understand the YouTube world before, so she... How uh, do you explain that to someone that you're dating? You had to see our first date. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. She's like, uh, so what do you do? And I'm just like, you know, you have YouTube videos. She's like, oh, yeah, I posted a YouTube video before. And I'm like, no, like, you know, a lot of YouTube videos every week kind of thing. And then uh, she She's said, like, she, are these appropriate videos? Yeah. She's like she, subscriber only. Like, well, the like, way I explained it, she said she went home and, uh, and checked YouTube. And she was like, oh, OK. <laughs> and then does it, are you like, do you feel that people that aren't in the YouTube world get a bit freaked out like by that? Or? They get confused, yeah. not freaked out. They just they, they don't understand that I, I, you know, say that it's it's something that I do more than once like you know i'm not just making this one video and putting it on the internet and it went viral i'm like no this is this is a very serious hobby of mine that i do scheduled very often type thing and um they get a little confused but i think once they start realizing like what goes into it they kind of understand do you feel a responsibility uh for to create content um that is meaningful and has a message for the lgbt community um or is that like not you don't want people just to just because that's part of your that's part of your life. Well, it started off like that. Yeah. And um, I think since I've been growing with with the channel and with my videos, you know, I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm growing and people are watching me grow with it. So I, I think that my viewers are starting to want to just know more about me and my life outside of, you know, the LGBT and the advice world and like, what do you do for fun? What do you, where are you going? Like, what's your next road trip or, you know? So um, I do love making videos like that and I do feel like I need to express myself and have a voice in that, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's definitely expanded. What's the craziest advice, you know, question or question that you get or that you've gotten? Uh, oh, crazy as in like, what kind of crazy? I know, you're like, <laughs> what no. kind of crazy? Is there anything that you can't give advice on? You're like, I don't even know. Oh, gosh. Um, well, I get kind of um, in a, in a inappropriate questions, if you uh, understand what I mean. Yes. I'm just like, um, ask your uh, health teachers, ask your doctors. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I'm not your, they called it when I went to school, moral social development, I, MSD. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's like, I'm not that teacher. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. Not me. Not for me. And that's what Google <laughs> is for. That's what, yeah, Google it. <laughs> what have you learned about yourself in the process of, of building your channel? Um, well, I always used to uh, label myself as very shy, a big introvert. Uh, I was uh, not very talkative and kind of antisocial. 
And um, I've learned that, you know, that really isn't me. Yes, it's still a part of me, but I've grown so much with the channel and having to network and speak to people and meet new people all the time. I've kind of learned about myself that I did have this confidence to be outgoing and to be social yeah. and turned into this social butterfly. So <laughs> it's, it's, it definitely helped me. Uh, what continues to inspire you to do what you do? Uh, just the reactions and the feedback that I've been getting, you know, to receive such heartfelt messages about me helping people and, um, you know, helping them realize who they are and coming out and being themselves and having that confidence to be themselves. It's just, you know, it, it really does bring, I know it sounds corny, but it really does bring me to tears reading some of these messages and knowing that I am helping. It's, it's amazing. Do you feel as much as we've evolved, young people still have a hard time coming out and accepting who, that, who they are, that side of who they are? Oh, uh, definitely. It's it's never going to be easy. For some, it is, and they're they're very lucky. <laughs> um, but it's never going to be easy. So I just I always try to tell everyone whenever they ask me, you know, like, is it going to be easy? I'm like, just hang in there. I promise it will get better. You might think right now it's not going to, but it will. Yeah. You one day you're gonna look back and say, wow, it really did get better. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, we have a segment called "Explain Your Tweets." Oh gosh. So let's get into this. <laughs> I'm scared. And if you have any questions, you guys want to ask any questions, feel free. <laughs> Let us know. We have a mic. A lot of people just like watching from afar. <laughs> we have people watching all around in every room. Okay. Learn how to make a voodoo doll at the Voodoo Museum in New Orleans. <laughs> what brought you to the Voodoo Museum? And how do you, like, what do you make a voodoo doll out of? Or, like, what's, what, what are the components? Oh, gosh, well, I've forgotten doll, now. Doll. But uh, that was a stop on the road trip. We went to New Orleans. And um, there was a voodoo museum. And it was the coolest thing I have ever did seen. Did it freak you out, though? It did at first. But um, reading the history behind it and seeing that, um, you know, it isn't, like, that, that thing that you always think of. Like, oh, voodoo, you're going to be, like, stabbing pins into it and, like, killing people. And it's actually, like, this whole art and history behind it. And it it was pretty cool. And I don't know. I wanted to tweet it because not everyone goes to New Orleans and says, oh, hey, I went to the Voodoo Museum. Normally, it's like, oh, hey, I was on Bourbon Street, or oh, hey, I did this. I was like, nope. Voodoo Museum. museum I went Orleans. to a museum. Are you allowed <laughs> bringing drinks into the museum? That's the question. No, but I had that right after. <laughs> it, inside every person you know, there's a person you don't know. That is very true. Um, so what did I mean by that? <laughs> well, without getting too specific, you know, you think you know someone, and you have this whole preconceived notion on this person, and woo! Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're too kind to know. <laughs> what is know. going on? I don't know. All right, so um, continue. All right, continue. Yeah, so you have this whole preconceived notion of someone, but, um, you know, every once in a while you're going to see a characteristic or a personality trait or something inside of a person that you may not have been expecting. Yeah. So um, be prepared, you know, be open to Everyone it. Everyone has two sides. Everyone has two sides. And uh, just try to, try to a, embrace it and accept it if you can. Yeah. Sometimes you know? that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Yes. You have to learn if you want to, you know, go with it or move on. I'm like, I totally get it. <laughs> I, I'm still learning. I'm still unlearning. These are deep. These, <laughs> these all have meaning. All right. What, is, what did you mean by that? What are you unlearning? Ah, uh, well, gosh, how long ago was that? That was I pretty know, long We went ago. deep here. We, we went deep. My, my writer... So um, I'm still learning. Obviously, that's that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, I'm still learning things. I'm still growing. I'm still adapting to this world, and I'm unlearning as well because, you know, you're uh, you're raised a certain way, and you are taught certain things when you were younger. And as you grow up, you kind of make this whole new opinion on the world. You know, if I was a 10-year-old little girl, did I think that this was all going to be cool and something that I was doing? Absolutely not. You know. So I'm mm -hmm. unlearning the things that I was taught that this is how it has to be. This is how you have to think. And I'm unlearning that and creating my own, my own way of seeing things and my own way of uh, looking at the world. Love that. Well, on that <laughs> note, that's a beautiful thing thank to you. Uh, <laughs> share. Marissa, everyone, thank you so much thank for you. sharing all that and continuing awesome. to do the work that you do. A lot of inspiring words there and a lot of fun, too. Thank you. It was uh, great. And remember uh, to follow us on uh, at Twitter, at What's Trending, because we're putting up highlights there on our Instagram. Also, Marriott's putting up highlights everywhere. It's, it's all going up in real time, so follow us uh, online. And also follow the hashtag Marriott at Playlist uh, to find out who's coming up next. Tomorrow we have a full schedule from 12 to 6 p.m. So if you're here in person, join. If you're watching this online, wherever you are, uh, 
you know, tweet us with your questions, hashtag Mary to Playlist, and I might just ask those questions to your favorite star here. I'm Cheryl Lazar. See you soon. Have a great Bye. night. Bye. Bye, guys.